Barbie Sleeping Beauty, released in 1998-ish under the Barbie Software for Girls banner. This one will have Barbie uh, playing the role as Princess Rose in a retelling of the classic fairy tale. And first off, wow, that's uh, some high-quality looking animations and art. Uh, very nice looking. The game starts off when little Barbie Rose is born. The magical fairies of the world bring her gifts to celebrate this special occasion. Then this uh, crazy evil rebel fairy flies through the window. I have my own gift for the little princess. When she's 15, a spindle sharp will make her sleep and break your heart. So a curse is placed on Barbie. If she pricks her finger at 15 years old, she'll sleep for 100 years. We fast forward to Barbie's last day of being 15 years old and her preparation for her 16th birthday. This is where the mini games start to come in. You start off waking the sleeping animals of the forest with a magical flute. This is a Simon Says style game where you repeat the notes on the flute. Woke up the beaver. Good morning, beaver. Afterwards, you'll meet the uh, very handsome prince. Um, I'm Prince Kendall. And I can't help notice there that uh, Prince Kendall kind of looks like Jughead from Archie's comics. You then get to play a dress-up game where you can make a pretty dress for the birthday party. Afterwards, you'll design a crown where you can put on jewels and polish and make it all pretty and such. You can even print a picture of this crown off your computer to wear yourself. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of neat, I guess. You move on to the next room looking for a key. Uh, you'll play a hide-and-seek game with the fairies, clicking all over the room looking for them. The key then turns into rust, and this is where the evil fairy has set a trap for Barbie. Very well, then. Come here and see what I have. Come here and touch it. Not very bright there, Barbie. The curse of the pricked finger is fulfilled. Evil fairy steals Barbie's magic flute and Barbie is to sleep for 100 years. And then all the good fairies for some reason put the rest of the kingdom to sleep. For some reason. While Barbie sleeps, the fairies tend to her by combing her hair and bringing her nice smelling flowers. So one of Barbie's critter friends, some squirrel, uh, runs into the forest. He goes and tells uh, Prince Jughead uh, what's happening, so off to the rescue with him. The evil fairy has made the path to the castle very difficult to traverse. So you'll have to trim the hedges and rotate the path pieces to get Prince Jughead to the castle. So the prince arrives and gives Barbie a big smooch, freeing her from the accursed spell. But it's not over, Barbie still has to deal with the evil fairy. She also has to wake up the rest of the kingdom with her magical flute. Now, hold on a second, uh, didn't earlier the good fairies put everyone in the kingdom to sleep? Yet the only one who can break the spell is Barbie when she uses her flute. So if the prince never showed up to kiss Barbie, everybody in the kingdom would have been sleeping forever. So why did the good fairies put everybody to sleep in the first place? Ugh, those fairies didn't think this out very well, did they? So you move on to the final confrontation. The uh, evil fairy shoots these green fireball gas things at you and uh, you just click on them to make them disappear and that's how you beat her and that's it. So overall, Barbie Sleeping Beauty um, is not too bad. The story itself is pretty straightforward, but it has a lot of visually fantastic art and some great voice acting. The mini games on here aren't that great, but uh, at least they have a lot of variety. It's also pretty short, uh, maybe 30 minutes, but uh, less is better sometimes. This doesn't drag it out for the sake of dragging it out. Listen to the story, play some mini games, and you know sometimes that's all you need. And in this case, it works. It's a nice little fairy tale game. So there you have it, uh, Barbie as Sleeping Beauty. Thanks for watching.